Introducing you to soccer analyst Ben Keyes. And Jonathan White. Yeah. Over here to my left. All right. For the for the Kai Ramsey show. Good to be with everybody. Uh, it's a great honor to be here. It's part of the uh, World Cup team. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, Woody and I here have uh, compiled our uh, picks of uh, what we believe to uh, happen in this World Cup. The, the biggest thing right now uh, beforehand is all the injuries that have been uh, taking place before uh, the competition even happens. Uh, big names for big teams going to be out. Michael Ballack, probably one of the biggest ones for Germany, not going to play. Rio Ferdinand for England, out. Two mm. captains right there that aren't going to play at all. Drogba broke his arm in a tune-up the other day for the Ivory Coast. And they say he might still play because if he doesn't play, that group of death, you know, not, not as is, not, is not as deathly <laughs> anymore. And then uh, our uh, Ian Robin might not play for uh, the Netherlands. They're not sure. They say his injury is not that serious. He might miss some of the group games. But Don't trust the Dutch. That's, but anyway, he could uh, he could be back for some of the later stages, uh, the knockout games. They're not exactly sure. Uh, how severe his injury is, but uh, we uh, made some picks here. I think uh, Woody and I mostly ended up with the same teams getting out of the group stage going on in the round of 16. Woody, you want to start us off start with your Group A picks? Group A, I've got France winning with Mexico coming in second. Uruguay could challenge them, but uh, I think those two will probably come out. South Africa, they're just happy to be there, hosting in their own country. Break, break the streak of yeah. uh, team, host teams that make it out. Yeah. Probably. I, I feel the same way. I picked France and Mexico as well. I do feel that Uruguay is going to be a threat. I almost penciled them in over Mexico. Well, actually, even over France. I don't know. France has got some solid players. I don't know. Last World Cup, Frank uh, Ribery was one of my favorite uh, players that I, that I saw for the first time. And, I, I mean, I, I do think France will get out. But uh, Uruguay was one of the best in South American qualifying. And they'll provide a challenge, but I, in the end, I think Mexico has got a lot of talent. Uh, unlike in years past, uh, really good at a lot of different points of the attack. And, uh, you know, they got the uh, like those Santos uh, brothers. And, uh, of course, you know, Rafa Marquez is going to hold them in defense. I do believe they'll make it out. I agree. Group B, I've got Argentina and Greece. I have the same. I think Greece, I, Greece is going to be 1 0, nil nil, 1 0 oh, kind of scores for the group stage. Struggle, they play, that's because, and I mean, they know what they do. They don't have the talent to attack really, so they work on defense and they work hard. Uh, South Korea, not the same South Korea from 02. Uh, don't see them making noise. Nigeria, it's not the. It's, it's tempting to pick them over Greece, but it's not the same on Nigeria either. We were talking about that beforehand. I remember in 98, which was the first World Cup I really followed, that uh, J.J. Akachoka and uh, those guys, they were fun to watch. The, uh, the Screaming Eagles, I think what they call themselves. They're, they're solid, but I think in the end, Greece being able to just pack it in and not allowing them to go is going to be the difference, and they'll get through all right, Darius, that's the first two groups. We'll be back with part two in a minute.